Hello, my peeps. Uh, I was waiting for a red light to come on that showed me I was live, but there is no red light. So here I am. It is Tracy, the paper, the paper pusher. And I am here today to show you some pretty things and to tell you how you can get a really good deal on this. But that will come at the end. Because first, I'm going to show you pretty things. I'm going to explain to you something, though, first. Uh, I have, I'm sure, mentioned it, I don't know, 757 times before. I absolutely love being a demo. I, I love, love being a demo. And there are so many advantages to it. And if you would ever like to talk about that, drop me a line because Lord knows I love to talk about stamping and things. The biggest, biggest by far benefit to being a demonstrator, though, is the demonstrator community. And just the most amazing people and best friends I've met. And the resources that are available to you. And oh, it's amazing. And because of the team that I happen to be on, it's even more amazing because my fearless leader, Tamara Bertram of Tamara's Trailblazers, um, is one of the top demos in the country. And she is part of a group of other leaders who three times a year graciously do this full day virtual event for us where they show us all sorts of projects and products and tips and tricks and how to make things and then give us a challenge to make something you know, inspired by their presentation. Uh, and it, I just love these days. Oh my God, they're one of the most fun days. Uh, usually start about eight, usually finish about six. We get a few breaks in between, but we craft all day. I absolutely love it. But I don't think I ever really show you what I make in a day. Um, I give myself the personal challenge of trying to keep up with every presentation, even though I never do any of the prep ahead of time, even though some of them will give you the information ahead of time. So that's just my added fun is like, let's see if I can keep up with them. Um, I didn't do as well this year. I was very tired on that day. I did not do as well keeping up. But I did finish all the projects within a few days of it. Um, the, the previous one, I did manage to get... I had them all done by like two minutes to midnight on the same day. I digress. So these are not the exact projects they did. These are... They showed us something and then said make a project based on it. So I will show you what we did and tell you about all the lovely ladies as we go. So first up was Sue Phillip from D.C., who, and they're across Canada. I don't know if I mentioned that. It, it's great. We, we start to recognize the names of these people, and I feel like I've known them forever. They've been doing this for two or three years now, I think. Um, and it's just awesome. It really is. And even just like the other demos that watch this event that are on the teams, it's fantastic. Okay, so Sue Phillip from BC showed us how to make shaker cards. And as much as I've made many shaker cards before, I've never actually made one with little compartments. And so that's what her challenge was, or like, her card was and that's the challenge part I took. Um, Gus and Felix, in case anybody's wondering, uh, this card was specifically made for someone. Some twos, two someones. <laughs> um, but yeah, the little compartments keep the stuff because otherwise if you went like this, it would all go just to the bottom. But this one keeps everything in their own little compartment. It's awesome. A cute little envelope. I love these, these, these little cat stamps. Oh my goodness, they're adorable. Uh, next up was Elizabeth Green, who is from Ontario. There we go. Um, this Silly Goose stamp set. Oh my goodness, I love it. It's so adorable. And one of the reasons I absolutely had to have it. Goosebumps. <laughs> Cracks me up every time. So her card is best shown like this, though. Because you pop it open. And then it pops down. And wee, there's a pop-up that says, Setting a honkin' big thanks. A big honkin' thanks, sorry. So uh, isn't this a fun card? And I'm, I'm, I'm all into this, this paper that you get free from celebration. If you watch my other one, you'll notice there it is again. Um, it's bright and summery and springy. I don't know. I love it. Anyways. Uh, oh, I'm popping my cards in this lovely little box. This was uh, Andrea Estenson. Did I say her name right? Estenson, who is from Manitoba. Um, a little place Manitoba, but I don't remember where. Um, and she showed us how to make this card keeper box. And in her original demo, she had also made little monthly dividers. And I noticed some of the ladies in the challenges because everybody posts their pictures, which is great because there's even more inspiration. Um, some of them had actually, instead of monthly dividers, had put like sympathy, thanks, birthday. So you have like what kind of cards there so you can easily find your cards. Uh, and I love this and this free, oh, this paper. This is another celebration item. I love this paper. So I made the little box and I was like, yeah, I like that. And it's come in very handy. Like I will totally use this box for lots because I keep, as I finish something, I'm popping it in here until I do whatever the next steps are. Um, and I thought this would help me with my monthly birthdays because 
the first year I did them, I did great. And then last year was just crazy busy and things going on and I didn't get organized enough. And so I did a horrible job of setting up birthday cards last year. So I'm determined more organized this year. If I have your address and your birthday, you're getting a card. So I decided I needed to up my, up my game on this little box. So I took her idea and then I did a little bit of, did a little bit of math and a little bit of, and I made it about three times this big this way. Um, and I changed it so I could put it landscape as well so that when I could tell if I had addressed them or not. Um, and then I did make my little monthly dividers, as you can see. And so they're kind of ready for what I do. And so if I, if I happen to, like, if I made a card today, uh, let's just go like this one and I'm going to spice up someone's life. And the person I wanted to send it to, I wanted to send it to in June, then I can put it in the little June folder and it's waiting for me. So end of May, I'm going to look and go, okay, what has to go out and when, right? So I'm hoping this will kind of help. Um, if not, it's just an awesome box on my desk. And this one I did, not only did I make the box way bigger, but I covered like almost every square inch of it in this paper because this paper is so awesome. I even put a, a big chunk of it back there so that no matter how the cards were, I'd still get flowers. <laughs> Anyways, so that was another one of the projects. Uh, Tamara, the lovely Tamara Bertram from Edmonton, um, her project was a mini album. And there are so many things you could do with this mini album. Um, so her idea was like even just like a little, you know, like a book for grandma or grandpa for like brag photos of the grandkids, uh, making grad albums where you, you know, put maybe pictures of you guys in grade 10, 11 and 12 in a grad photo or, or something like that. Um, it could be, you could keep stuff in it. There was ideas for business cards and samples and recipe books and bridal showers. And there were so many things. Um, uh, I've been looking for a way to do something with my son's like little, you know, wallet size school pictures. So I made him this one, and th this sentiment actually came out of our Memories and More cards, which are like the memory keeping cards. So it, it worked perfect. Um, and I, so I made it, and I, I made mine a different size as well, because hey, I can't follow the rules and just do the easy way. So I made this, and this is his, uh, his, his go-to color scheme would be red, and then if you had to add colors, it would be black and white. So hence the colors. So there's a D and a K, because he's got this adorable little like, sort of like a school picture but it's from daycare and then kindergarten and so I made one to go through all of the years and I just these are varied like where I put the paper and where I put the numbers I just kind of shifted it around so I didn't end up having like this thick like you know this thick at one end and this thick at the other end because all the numbers were in the same spot and I kind of like the way it looks um, and this is made out of envelopes and then there's little folders here so I can stick I have up until grade six I have pictures of him and his teacher on the first day of school and then he told me it wasn't cool to go in the classroom and take pictures anymore on the first day of school. Uh, and it was actually also COVID, so I wouldn't have even been allowed to. But um, but I do have school pictures, and I do know the names of his teachers and stuff. Because sometimes now, you know, you're telling stories, and you go, oh, you remember? And you try to remember the names of your teachers, and for the life of you, can't. And I thought, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write it down for him, so <laughs> if he ever wants them, I can remember the name of one teacher Oh, because he was a character. Oh, my goodness. He was so much fun. Um, and he has a very distinctive name. But uh, but most of the rest of them, I remember, like, bits and pieces of. I remember the one teacher who used to call us Meathead. Uh, I remember a gym teacher whose first name was Taffy. Um, and then the one name I do totally remember. And he was so much fun. Um, he was one of our other gym teachers was Luigi Quiglietta. Because that's a fun name to say. Anyways, I digress. There is my mini album that is so awesome. And yeah, I just added, like I said, bulked it up a little bit, made some folds using a bunch of different things and made a nice little album. Um, Diane Inkster from Ontario, who has the best stamping name, Inkster, uh, showed us how to make, oops, sending my envelope, these tunnel cards, which are so much fun. Oops, let's go up there. Oh, isn't that cool? And the best part, they fold flat. And they fit in a regular envelope. So if you if you saw my stuff the other day with... Did I make a video? Yes, I did. With my adventure. I forgot. Greatest adventure. My next class that's coming up. That's what this suite of products is. That's why some of the stuff was missing. Because I had made this card. Um, and it is, it is actually much easier to make than you think. But uh, it is just such an awesome impact. And it's a fun little card. And uh, Anyways, thank you, Diane. That was an awesome... Awesome project. Um, Leanne Livingston out of Saskatchewan showed us how to make this lovely. So this is a nice little gift bag. And there's my little handle. It's a good size bag too. 
this is um, using like two sheets of 12 by 12 paper that are, and the, the folded over like overlapping parts just give it some stability. So you could do some pretty good stuff in here. This is six by eight by three. So that's a pretty good size bag. And then we have a card on the front, which has that fancy little holder. And because I put a bow in the way now, it's in my way, but just a minute, can't do it with one hand. And the card just kind of slides in and out. <laughs> so it's a gift bag and card in one. And the card is just part of the decor. How cool is that? Ta-da! Again, bright and bold. I love it. And look at these little dragonfly. Okay. Um, next, because this will take forever. Otherwise. Okay. This is the one where I said that, that uh, very thick card. So Glenda Mullet, who's also from BC, made a project using, she had a, very, a few different techniques. And you sort of got to pick one thing out of it. Um, I picked to use the motorcycle stamp set. Um, and hopefully the person that this is for is not currently watching this video. Um, Cause it was custom made to match his Harley <laughs> and then the Harley colors. And so, yeah, this was, this is this new die set that we're gonna be using later on in the year in one of our classes, but um, oh my goodness, it was fun to play with this. And then, yeah, just a pop-up cards are pretty easy to make. I will tell you from a regular card base and then made a little calendar to go with it. Um, my goal is, was to make a whole bunch of these calendars and send them out to a whole bunch of people, but, um, I'm a little behind this, this year. <laughs> okay. That was Glenda. Um, Cindy Piggott, who's from Ontario, uh, she was showing us how to do some masking and I was telling you about masking paper. So, you know, in the good old days, you just like held down a piece of paper or used a sticky note, but sticky notes only have a little bit of sticky at the top. So this masking paper is like a sticky note, but the whole sheet of it is sticky. So this stuff is awesome and, and makes crafting so much easier. Um, and sometimes people are like daunted by new projects. So that was one of the fun things. She showed us that in about five different ways you could use it and then said, make something. And I forgot just how much impact you can have with just stamps, ink, and paper. Because I masked out my little... And it's all interpretation, right? Like this is, to me, this circle is Scotland. Very green grass, heel, hills of heather, and a blue sky. I saw some of the prettiest scenery in Scotland. Oh, So that to me was Scotland. <laughs> and then all I did was pop this little stamp on top of it. And the, oh, is this not like gorgeous if I do say so myself? Anyways, it, it was a beautiful card using the masking technique. Now, here's the other thing. And the, my other point to showing you some of this stuff was... If you guys want to do some of these projects or stuff, like I'm trying to keep the cards to, you know, simple. We can come in, we can chat, we can snack, we can make a few cards. Um, I can make less cards and make them fancier and we can still probably get the same effect. Or we could do very specific like technique get togethers and stuff. I am happy to do all of it or any of it. You just need to let me know. Um, okay, next card. The lovely Lori LaRose from Alberta. Uh, I want to say Rocky Mountain House, I think is where she's from. Um, her card was so much fun and <laughs> so it's a fancy fold. So this is what it looks like from the top and this is what it looks like from the front. Isn't that awesome? And it also will fold flat and go in an envelope. And so the person who this card is going to, um, I it will probably not see this, but many of you will, and you'll, you'll know who it's probably going to. But when I first saw this paper, I started to laugh because ladies and gentlemen, I give you fire smart cows. And if you knew the backstory to the Fire Spark Cows, this card is funny. Um, so I thought it was hilarious. So a certain director is getting this card for his birthday. Uh, I do I do love that you, Stampin' can be so personal and you can have so much fun with it. Uh, okay, who's next? Marcy Denning. Marcy Denning is in Ontario, but do I remember where in Ontario? No, I do not. <laughs> the lovely Marcy. Um, and hers was a fun fold card. And I think I showed you this during, if you watched the taco video, but this is where we learned to make this fun fold card. And it is fun. Like these cards, some of the, some of the fun folds are way simpler. That other one was a lot of math. I'll tell you, but once you figure out one, then it's really easy to do. So these ones are much simpler. Some of the, some of the fun folds are just like, just a kind of an interesting way to do it. Some of them are more fancy and take a bit more time, but I love this like bright, happy card. Uh, Lisa Henderson. You know, I always think she's from BC, but I actually think she's from Ontario, which I realize is quite a difference. I am sorry, Lisa. I do not remember because I thought she was always earlier. I'm going to have to look it up now. It's going to drive me nuts. 
Um, so she is an amazing scrapbooker and memory keeper. And she always shows us cool techniques. And some of them I, I have made it like the odd layout, like scrapbook layout. I would like to do more scrapbooking, but I need people who want a scrapbook um, or memory keep. But I, you can also use those to make like wall art like the and just frame them and some of them are just amazing i'm thinking of making a calendar um she, that was an idea she had a little while ago that she had showed us what, a 12 month calendar where you can personalize it and add photos of kids grandkids pets whatever you want and, and use it as a gift or just in your own home so i'm thinking that's how i'm gonna get my scrapbooking itch scratched <laughs> that's an odd way to say it anyways these are the memories of more cards which is a package of cards that sort of come um, and they make for very quick projects. But anyways, I just took a whole bunch of them and I cut. This is one of the cards and this is one of the cards. And this is a sticker that was in it. And this is a sticker that was in it. And I doop, doop, doop. And Bob's your uncle. Look how cute that card is. So that was her, was making use of scrapbooking and memories and more cards. And then our last project, which you would have also seen at the, at the, in the taco display, was um, Barb Stewart, who is from Manitoba. Winterbeg, Manitoba, and um, she had showed us, like her card was designed based on scraps, which is a good way to do it. Sometimes you just want to make that piece fit. You don't want to waste it. Um, I have paper, and so, yes. I was also trying to find a way to make this taco set for those who don't like to color, unlike myself, who loves to color. Um, and so I was trying to come up with a way, and it turned out that little strips and little scraps were like the perfect way to make this little taco set. So that was her card. So we made a ton of projects had a blast um got to hang out and chat with people virtually um and have all these ideas of all these projects and things that we can do and and uh some of you will be lucky enough to get some of these mailed to you um or other ones that i've made based on what we were doing so it was awesome i it was just i love like i said we are so lucky um i love those stampin up has a ton of resources stampin up canada has a ton of resources our teams have resources just the crafting communal community in general, so many resources. So you don't have to come up with all the ideas you're on your own. And you can copy exactly. Like none of these are exactly what anybody else made. They're all just based on what they were like showing us. But you can just copy exactly and just give credit to the person where you saw it from. Um, and oh, it just, it, it makes, it gets you going. It starts your crafting brain going or helps you with ideas. And it's amazing the resources that we have. Uh, so if you, if you want to join the demo community, I'll just give you the little, uh, the little, a quick version of the spiel, because even if you just want to get the kit, be part of the community and just buy your own crafting supplies and get a good discount, or even just get the kit and then just kind of hang out in the crafting community, um, the best time to get the deal is during celebration. And if you have this little brochure, you can turn to the back. If you don't have this brochure, let me know and I will get you one. Um, and there's little options in the back. So basically, and at any point during the year, the, the, the starter kit, which is what gets you into the demo world. And once you do that, um, so if you get, if you, if you get me to help you join up and you sort of join my team as a demo, as soon as you do that, I will ask you, what do you want to do? How much information do you want? And I will trickle it down or I will give it to you all at once, whatever you, or I will give you nothing, whatever you want. Um, cause there's a lot to go from there. So I don't need to go into all of the details. I just need to tell you that the deal goes any day of the, the year. And at any point, the deal is for $135 flat rate, no shipping, no tax, $135 flat rate. You can pick $165 worth of product, any product that is currently available. You also get a paper pumpkin. They just take out one of the recent ones, a random one, pop it in for you, which is worth about $35. Uh, the paper pumpkin kit. I think I just called it a paper pumpkin. Um, you get about 70 bucks, I think, in business supplies, which you don't have to use, but it's a bunch of catalogs, which give you a whole bunch of ideas, or you can give to all your friends and everybody knows, you know, what kind of stuff, and you can have little crafting parties. Um, so you get over $200, like it's 250 I think I worked it out to, uh, worth of stuff, which is, for $135 flat rate, boom, done. No further commitment, no nothing. So, Right off the bat, it is an awesome deal. But during celebration, they have they always up the, uh, up what you get. Because celebration is all about, for everything that you're going to buy anyways, we'll give you free stuff. So if you're going to sign up anyways, it's a great kit. But during celebration, which runs till the end of February, 
case I forgot to say that. Um, you can get that same deal, $135, but this time you get to pick $225 worth of stuff, plus the paper pumpkin kit, plus the supplies. So we're talking $300 plus worth of stuff that you get for $135 flat rate. That is pretty sweet. They've also this year decided to have three options instead of one. So the other two options involve the mini cut and emboss machine. Now I don't have the blue one, I have the white one, but so this is a, like a sneak peek of a new color coming in. It's sort of a limited time offer, this blue one. Um, and then the white one is the one that is normally available. So these machines, which are normally $86, they're so nice and compact and good for your very crowded craft desk or to take if you're going like camping or on holidays and you want to do some stuff in the hotel or just to carry it to the other room or to carry it to a crop. Um, so this is like the little die cut machine, which is just super handy. So normally these are $86 plus shipping and tax. So during celebration, instead of paying the $135 flat rate, you can pay $175 flat rate. So no shipping and tax, just $175. You get the same $225 worth of stuff. You get the same paper pumpkin kit, but you can also pick either the white or the blue um, mini cut and emboss machine. So you're basically paying $40 more for something that costs over $90 regularly. Uh, which is again, smoking good deal. <laughs> so take the deal, do nothing else. Just get a really good deal on a bunch of craft supplies. Take the deal and and meet your minimums. Stay as a hobby demonstrator, um, so you can get your 20% discount on your supplies, or build a business, or some variation therein. Uh, if you any of that interests you, or you just want to get the great deal, or you have more questions, at any point you can reach out. As I said to talk about all things stamping and I do love being a demo and I will help you with whatever you want um, because uh, I love this community and the more people in it the better yay so I feel like I need something on my table here I'm gonna put my little fun tunnel card ooh, ooh. Um, again I'm gonna try to put this in my videos from now on just because it's the easiest way to do uh, if you would like to subscribe to my newsletter, which gives you all the details on sales and classes and in-person events and fun things. And at some point, I'm even going to get it to focus. There we go. Um, subscribing to my newsletter, by far the easiest way to do it, because I kind of summarize everything in there. Boom. All right. Uh, thank you for... Ooh, now look what I've done. Now look what I've done. So thank you for sticking with me on my long ramble and tour through my projects that I had so much fun making. Uh, as I said, if there's any of these cards you guys want to learn how to make, let me know. Whether I might just do it as a video, show you guys in a video which card you want to learn how to make. Uh, we might do it in a class. We might do it in a Technique Tuesday night or something. So reach out. If you have any questions about the joining and the, or the join off or the starter kit, let me know. Uh, happy stamping, everybody. You know I enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it too. Thanks, everyone. Bye.